Welcome to Great Online Training Series on Pharmacovigilance Interview Questions and Answers. My name is Ramya and I'm working as Pharmacovigilance Trainer for Great Online Training. If you want to get live training by me, register at greatonlinetraining.com for more details. In this video, we are going to prepare on possible interview question regarding aggregate reports. So they can, the interviewers can ask multiple questions like what is your understanding on aggregate reports or why these aggregate reports are needed in pharmacovigilance process. And also they may ask you to provide a few examples of the aggregate reports as well. So now we will understand, uh, now we will learn the answer for all these questions. So aggregate reports, aggregate reporting is the process which reviews the cumulative safety information from a wide range of sources on a periodic basis and submits the findings to the regulatories worldwide so the icsr processing is completely about the single patient and aggregate reporting is about the product and uh, in these aggregate reports we provide the cumulative safety profile of that particular product from a on a periodic basis and we will submit to all the regulatory authorities and these reports majorly focus on, on on the overview and the assessment on the safety profile of the and also benefit and risk evaluation of adverse drug reaction and the serious adverse events on the pregnancy reports as well though the icsr reports were submitted on expedited basis to the regulatory authority Detailed analysis and evaluation of the benefit and risk ratio of the drug is not possible at this level. Therefore, the periodically reviewing safety reports received cumulatively worldwide becomes highly significant to analyze the benefit and risk balance of the product. So this is the importance of aggregate reports. This is the point you need to mention when interviewer asks you about what is the importance of aggregate reporting and what are the aggregate reports so for that you need to mention this point like uh, to answer the question about the aggregate reports and the next question in the aggregate reports only so the interviewers may ask you what are the different type of aggregate reports for that you can provide these examples so we have for the pre-marketing reports we have this ind annual reports and annual safety reports in europe but now these are reports are replaced by this well or harmonized document which we call it as a dsur document or developmental safety update report and then we also have this clinical study reports and for the post marketing we have this pbr year which is periodic benefit risk evaluation report which we also call it as periodic safety update report and then we have us periodic adverse drug reaction experience report that is us pida report and nda and annual ANDA annual reports. So these are the different types of the, uh, of the aggregate reports which we will be preparing as a part of regulatory requirements. So these are the a few examples you can provide for this question. I hope you like this video and if you have any questions you can ask us from the comment section below and we will get back to you at earliest. Thank you for watching.